Solutions to climate change in under a minute. Day two. Ending planned obsolescence. Planned obsolescence is baked into everything we buy. Our phones, our clothes. We shouldn't have to replace everything we buy every couple of years. This is one of the biggest driving forces behind our consumerist culture that is destroying the earth. But this is an easy fix. Did you know that there are light bulbs that can last a hundred years? Why are they not in all of our homes? Cause uh, that wouldn't be very good for the light bulb companies. Would it? Step one, make that sh illegal. Require companies to give longer warranties. Disincentivize building cheap sh That leads you to part two, right to repair. When your phone starts to slow down and your screen is cracked and you think, oh, oh, time for a new phone. No, it's f***ing not time. But it's not your fault. These phones have been built so they can't be repaired. On purpose. Yeah, capitalism breeds innovation, innovating, making useless as fast as possible. Make that illegal too. I'm out of time, subscribe. If you watched that TikTok and just thought to yourself, wow, what an amazing idea. How come our political leaders haven't thought of that? Well, the truth of the matter is that they have thought about it and realized that it would cut into the profits of their favorite giant corporations. And so, of course, they're not going to roll that forward as one of their proposed climate change solutions because, of course, we all know in the United States of America that our politicians work for the biggest donor. And it turns out giant tech companies love to donate to both Democrats and Republicans. And this type of TikTok speaks to something that I think is really important to understand. And and that is the fact that most people have some sense of what needs to be done in order to respond to climate change. We all know that our consumer habits need to change, but we also know at the same time that our consumer habits aren't existing in isolation. While it would be nice to only buy one cell phone and keep it for 10 years, the reality is that our cell phone becomes obsolete and we are forced to upgrade our phones on a regular basis if we want to keep the apps running that help us actually go about our daily lives. This constant necessity for updates lead us to overconsume significantly and it causes massive problems for the planet. Not to mention the fact that the United States has to go to war constantly to make sure that we have a ready supply of natural resources to exploit to turn into the cheap goods that you'll throw away in two years from now. But this is the reality. Pretty much everybody knows these things. We all have this general sense. Anybody that's been paying attention to climate change, watching Rebel Headquarters, watching The Young Turk, we have a ton of different ideas for solutions to climate change and all of them are probably going to do something positive. But political leaders are too busy focusing on things that really are not a solution. Like, for example, carbon capture. It sounds really nice until you realize that a lot of the carbon that they're capturing, they're just turning back into fossil fuels. It also becomes even worse when you realize that fossil fuel companies use it as a way to subsidize themselves. And the way that these carbon capture credits keep getting proposed ends up just being giant subsidies for oil companies instead of actually funding green energy. Instead of having a policy of bold experimentation to try and rapidly reduce our carbon footprint, we're rolling out things like NFTs and cryptocurrencies that are unbelievably wasteful, wildly speculative, and don't really provide any type of value. Meanwhile, countries that actually care about climate change are just straight up banning cryptocurrencies because they're like, oh my goodness, this is just a pollution machine. All it does is generate pollution, just wasting processor hours on a computer to create a token that has no inherent value whatsoever and is essentially just really expensive climate catastrophe beanie babies. But no, we have to have these free markets and innovation and all of these very amazing things, which really just leads to producing useless nonsense for a profit. And I can't think of a better example than cryptocurrencies for that. It couldn't possibly be more useless, and yet somehow it's still profitable. This is Ben Carolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Carollo on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.